I must force him to shoot nice on the volley and get in. Get in, Ivor, the commander. Hello, guys, this is CRG. In this score match video, we are going to talk about probably the easiest way to score goals in the game right now. Let's go. So guys, I'm starting this episode by saying again that Madeline unfortunately cannot speak because he has some problems with his throat. It's nothing serious, but you will hear only me speak today and Madeline will try to mimic and be a good assistant as he is. So, easiest way to score goals. This is not a clickbait video. This, for me at least, it's the easiest way to score goals. Okay, volleyball is something else. I hate volleyball, you know it. But the poacher in this moment is amazing. The reason why he's amazing and you can score so, such easy goals with him is that his accuracy is over the limits. So, if you have the opportunity to shoot towards the goal, hit it on the long post with a little bit of a curve and he will do the rest, yeah? And as I said, the easiest way to score the goals is to pass to the poacher and he will run a little bit with the goal and you can easily score with him from the edge of the box. And as Modellini is showing right here, the wizard is one of the best passers right now in the game. I don't know what FTG did to the wizard, frankly speaking, but he is amazing. He's not dribbling too much. He's not losing the balls, he's trying to find the best place to, 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 to pass and this is amazing. And as Madeline showed, the wizard and the poacher is, for me, the best duo right now in the game. And to complete this tactic, we've shown this strategy in the past. You can pass it to the intruders on the side because they are speedy and they can run with the ball. You can pass it to the commander and the hammer and they can either pass it back or send it forward with long passes. And from the intruders, you can either pass it to the poacher which, with his great response he will be able to shoot from wherever he uh, is and uh, also you can send it back to the hammer or to the commander for a header. This is a strategy, I'm going to play a game against Madeline and then the winner will play in the arena showing you how easy it is to score goals in this way. And Madeline, are you ready for a uh, friendly? Let's try, let's hope it works from the first time even though I'm not having great expectations. And let's go. Madeline, uh, if you're trying to say something, uh, don't because your doctor told you not to speak. So first thing you need to do, send the ball from the poacher towards the keeper and then don't be afraid to send the ball to your warrior on the sides. But since he's not free, I'm going to pass it to the major. Now pass it to the marksman. The marksman will take the ball uh, and pass it back safe to the wizard because the voyager is, uh, un is marked. Okay, the wizard lost the ball here for me. He uh, didn't listen to... Um, to me when I was saying that he doesn't lose the ball right now, but you will see you will see that the wizard is really smart right now Okay, again, my players are a bit um, cocky. Okay, let's see the wizard So the wizard chooses to pass now. Okay, I would like to pass it to the poacher But he's in an offset so I'm gonna pass it to the hammer who will not lose it send it back to the to the warrior and now send it to the marksman on the other side now what you want to do always see if your poacher has a free um, lane towards the goal and pass it directly to him he will turn around and score but in this situation i was afraid of an offside again take care the poacher is really really keen on being in an offside but in situations like this don't be afraid to tap the ball to him he will touch it one time usually and then um, he will try to shoot but here my poacher was behaving really really well and now look at how strong his passes can be so i sent it all the way on the other side to the marksman but oh yes he did it he got it he was first with the ball and now let's see the hammer uh i will try to shoot with the hammer why not he's the best regular player oh i hit the post so some people wrote in the comments to do a video on how to shoot with players like hammers he is totally right it's different than how you would shoot with a player different than the hammer why you will find it in the other episode. And look at Madeline's poacher right now. He is making a run. He's making a run and he will score definitely 100% because he is amazing. So, stay close to us. In, the few, in a few, let's say, days, we will show you how to shoot with players with high, um, with high um, strength. Yeah, but I think we can, we can also show it next time I shoot. <laughs> let's see. Let's see, if I have the opportunity to shoot with a hammer, I will show you. It was wrong how I shoot it in the first, uh, uh, in the last um, occasion that I had. So now the warrior. Okay, poacher, I'm not afraid to give it to you. I'm not afraid to give it to you. Look at him. Look at him, guys. Look at him. He is amazing. And I got a corner. And now since I have the major, I have the commander, I have everyone who is tall in the box, I will give it to the commander. And you will see an easy go. Of course. Oh, not an easy go, but the wizard, the hammer, will pass it. Wizard, the... Um, Okay, Seymour the wizard passed it to Sokol the hammer and it's a goal. So guys, I said it in the video about the free kicks. If you get a corner, it's 90% it's a goal. 
All you have to do is send the ball into the box. We will try to, sh to make an, uh, a video about corners too, right, Madeline? Okay. And now let's see what Madeline is doing here. So exactly, he's playing really well. Try to be patient. Unfortunately, his, uh, his wizard lost the ball there. But look at my wizard, guys. And now, Jebe can shine on the sides. And Jebe can send it to the hammer if he wants, no, to the marksman. That, but the marksman is also really smart. Unfortunately, I have no player in a good position. So I'm going to send it to the wizard. And the wizard, mm, okay, the poacher is not in an... Oh, oh I misclicked it. I'm sorry, guys. I misclicked it. I wanted to change the to change the angle. So the poacher there was not in an offside, but keep it in mind. Usually the poacher in situations like that can be caught in an offside. So don't pass it to him unless you're sure it's not an offside. Okay, let's see now. Um, nice pass by the wizard, probably to the poacher, and he's not losing the ball. So guys, there was a secret update about the poacher. He is amazing. He is really, really amazing. And now it's a corner for Madeline, who has a big opportunity to beat me. Let's see who will be at the end of the of the cross. Okay, Ivor, my commander. Phew, I didn't expect my commander to win a duel in the air, in the air. Okay, Hammer, please pass it to Jebe. And now let's see Jebe shine, guys. Let's see Jebe shine. Okay, your keeper is doing a is doing a mistake here. He's doing it. Ah, so close, goddammit. So close to, to, to getting the ball back from your keeper, and now you send the ball... Ah, okay. It was a mistake by my... Uh, who was there? I don't know who was there, but I think it was... I think it was the poacher, actually, because he was um, a defender in this situation. And now the commander... Let's send it to Jebe. Let's send it to Jebe. Again, a long pass to Jebe. Seven seconds to go. Let's see what Jebe will do here, here with the ball. Let's hope he will choose to pass to the poacher. Okay, he doesn't... I don't know what to do here. I would choose to shoot. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I'm feeling this. My girlfriend wants to say something. I think it's urgent. I still have uh, seven minutes from this episode. Okay. I, I really hope Madeline cannot will not will not Oh I, 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 I was lucky there. So after this match, it seems like I need to help my girlfriend with something. And look at Samba here, always in the middle, Madeline, always in the middle. He still doesn't understand how my keeper saved it with the legs. I, I, I know, I know what you mean. It is not supposed to be like that, but I'm lucky again. And I will be back in just a couple of uh, moments for you. And uh, I will play in the arena. I am back, guys. Um, so I'll try now to play in the arena, Infinity Arena. Uh, guys, the reason why I'm so low on trophies is that mostly the only games that I'm playing are for the videos and also a few days a week. I really don't have time to play. Uh, yeah, I don't know about you, Madeline, but time is, 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 is a big pressure. And when I play, um, I really want to try something new to be able to show you something in the episode. Okay, so now let's get back to this episode. So here I want to pass it to the hammer. Some somewhere in the back because I want to force my hammer to send uh, a pass to towards the defenders and now I'm not afraid to pass it to the marksman and the marksman will choose to throw it long towards the poacher. Look at the poacher guys. Look at the poacher getting it and scoring on a short post. Get in. It's so easy guys. It's so easy. All you need to do is get the poacher on the field, send the ball towards him and uh, yeah, he will do the rest, as I said. It's really easy. And the link with the wizard that he has, you will see. It, it's amazing. But you already saw it in the goal that Madeline scored against me. The wizard uh, passing it really well towards the poacher, right? It was the wizard? I think so. And I'm beating all sorts of guys, to be honest. This guy has 3-5-2, but I, 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 I played today against somebody with 3-4-3. Uh, I beat 4-2-1-3. I'm beating all kinds of guys with this, with this tactic. Okay, send it now to Jebe. I always like to have the possibility to have a speedy striker on the side, so if I have two, it's even better. And now look at Jebe passing it towards my other, uh, my other um, winger, Budley. It's easy, guys. It's easy. And uh, yeah, my opponent here has some connection issues, but I think he was just mad because I made it look so easy. If I'm looking here, shots 2-0 for him, possession, uh, 70, no, 67 passes. Tackles one, passes five, faults zero, so no shoots for my opponent. Should I play one more? One more, okay, let's go. So, uh, the poacher right now is OP. From my point of view, he's OP. He is so strong, his shooting is so accurate. Um, his 
from my point of view, right now, he may be the best super player, honestly speaking. I, I love the Voyager. I like the fact that the Major can actually counter the Bulldozer. I love the Bulldozer for being so OP for such a long time, but the Poacher, guys, he's amazing. And now for Stinio, I will force Jebe here. I don't care. I will force him because I trust Jebe. I may be on a winning streak, I don't know, because my, my players are playing so well. And now I'll get a, I will get a penalty shot with the Poacher, with Sandberg, and I will hit it with my uh, nose. Okay, I don't don't try to, to score with your nose, but nevertheless, I have Sokol here in the air. He's unbeatable, hopefully. Yeah, he is unbeatable. Easy corners, more than a penalty, I would say. You must try this strategy. <laughs> you must try this strategy, indeed, guys. You must try it, and let us know down below if you like it. I mean, it doesn't have to be uh, for for one to three. I, I must check my formation. So it doesn't have to be for one to three. It can be any other formation. Nice, nice for my opponent. It can be any other formation, but preferably with three strikers in attack because in that way you need to pass to your uh, poacher only when actually he is free and in other circumstances you need to pass to your wingers. Always when you have the possibility to pass it to your keeper, really important because you will lighten up your game, okay? Now the hammer, uh, I will not force it to, to Jebe here. I really hope my marksman will not lose it here because he's... Okay, uh, let's get a foul maybe or pass it to Jebe. Jebe, Jebe, will, will, he, will he get it? No, it's gonna be a foul for me. Uh, that's what I wanted to, to get, honestly speaking. Marksman, pass it back please. Marksman, don't lose it. Okay, I have the warrior there. I love to play warrior on the sides of my defense because he is a safe passer. And now Sokol, I think he will lose it here because he's surrounded. No, he did really well there. Okay, Budley, it's time to, for you to run on the sides and pass it please to the commander in the box. Well, this is interesting. Not to the poacher, I wanna... This is really interesting by my, by my Budley. Okay, but my pass was really, really bad. Okay, and now let's hope my keeper will intercept this ball. Yes, he did it. He did it, and now I really want to be patient. Marksman, okay, let's go. Not with the Voyager. I don't want to... I think the Voyager, after the latest update, uh, loses a lot of balls, really. Okay, and now let's check the whiz. Uh, should I force Rebe? No? Okay, then I will pass it to the commander. <laughs> I'm listening to you, Mother you see. And now uh, the poacher seems to... Okay, I will pass it safe to the to the warrior. I still have 70, 70, 70 seconds to go. The hammer will pass it back, hopefully. Oh, look at the poacher. Pooh, is he is it is he in an offside? But Jebe is not. Definitely Jebe is not. Nice pass to Jebe and Jebe now pass it to to, to Sun. Mm, where is Sunberg? Mm, let let's see this. Let's try this out. Oh God, no. I tried to my intruder, but it seems like he didn't have a chance there. Oh, wow, nice pass there. Nice pass there by my opponent to Lopez, his keeper. Khaled here is playing really well. And now, mm, he did a mistake here, but he tried to, to, he tried to be uh, smart and he was smart. Um, the commander, I must force him to shoot nice on the volley and get in. Get in, Ivor, the commander. This strategy works. You've heard about this strategy from CRG guys, don't tell me you didn't. Uh, this was the episode, I think the poacher is over. Thank you for staying with us. <laughs> Thank you for staying with us. He scored 53 goals for me in more than 140 uh, matches, uh, but the winning percentage with uh, with uh, with him was double than the loss, so I, I think it, it's really good, so I, I love Sunberg. This was the episode guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, a comment and a share. Don't forget to subscribe to CRG, stay with us for more interesting score match and not only videos. And until next time guys, see you and bye!